It's Catch 22 Radio on GMTRadio.com. So we have a special guest. She's a hot MC out of Pew. Well, not even Houston. We're gonna say New Orleans, the boo. And from Houston, she's been all over. We got Gucci in the building. She has a new project out called Tales from the Boo. Now available on all digital platforms with the hit singles Way Up and Savage. You know what I'm saying? And that Way Up features Be King. You know what I'm saying? So it's going down. What's popping, Gucci? What's good, buddy? What's good? Yeah, we got Gucci in the building. Now we just saw you perform. Uh, what was that? The playlist. The playlist. Yeah, 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 we just saw you perform. You shut it down. You was getting, you was lit, and all your people was in front, turned up. Gucci baby, but everybody got dopes, you know, Gucci Mane and all oh, that. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, how can I show this? So I showed it to Gucci, but I didn't know. <laughs> 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 what was that? I was like, damn, I can't even change it now. Yeah. Like, you know, like, but you know what? Good thing, like a lot of people don't, they still don't know what it is. Yeah. So, oh. But I was well, one of the people, people know. We knew what the Gucci was. I was like, Gucci. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, she, she know what that is? <laughs> but now that nobody is, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm right there in the middle. I'm yeah. right there. You yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> So what made you come to Houston of all places? Uh, the hurricane, the train around. Um, I mean, I knew the answer. I was just, you know. Yeah. How you know that else? But to be honest, what... I ain't gonna lie. Like, I went to Memphis first after the hurricane. Okay. My, I was one of the people that literally lived like I didn't think about tomorrow. So I didn't know a hurricane was hitting until like five hours before it hit. Mm. So Memphis was closer. Yeah. Uh, the way we went, but, that was, but I ain't like it out there. It was boring kind of country. So all my friends, everybody I knew was out here. So I came to Houston. That's how I ended up in Houston, I ain't gonna lie. No, I mean, that's, I mean, that's how most of the people ended up here when you ask questions for the hurricane. Like, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the hurricane. Like, I would be... It was a blessing to me, though, because I, I wouldn't focus at all. Like, I really was young, wild, and free. Like, I 
I really started taking music serious when I got out here. All my family, they moved back. I could have moved back with them. I feel like I was going to be on the relapse, go back to the same thing. I was going back home, and music was going to be the last thing on my mind. Like, you should be trying to make the next video worry about being a rapper. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's true. So what kind of rapper would you say that you are? Are you a New Orleans rapper? Or are you like lyrical? Or are you real, like real rap, trap rap? Like, or you gonna just put yourself in the box? I would say I would put myself in the box. Like, for what they consider New Orleans rappers, a lot of times they go and think box. Like, it's all right, rappers, rappers can really come from out of the side of the ones who already made it. But, I don't, I don't know, I can do it all. Like, you feel me? I think if a person brought me a country beat and said, Goose Goose Indian, I'll probably write them a hit for it. A country beat. I need to, I need to hear some bones. What have you got? I, have, I, I do have a bone song. Uh, they had a challenge from Sissy Noble, uh, The uh, Consequences. And people dig my challenge, and they make a whole song, so I did a whole song to it. That's good. That's lit. Now, now, I do want to ask, because um, I'm sure you're about to perform a lot. And you're about to be out there because you got a new project coming out. I mean, well, you have a new project out. It's out now on all streaming networks. Um, so you probably need, like, some backup, you know. I don't know. I'm just saying. We have a group, okay? Um, called Thick and Nasty. Show sure. Thick and Nasty. Okay. So Thick and Nasty. Drew, explain what Thick and Nasty is. So Thick and Nasty, we background rappers. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm not a hype man, so don't no. put me in that category. No. Um, <laughs> while you are rapping your verse, I'm rapping mine. Yep. <laughs> um, and we just get it twice together. But I think, like, since your name is Gooch and we think it nasty, I feel like it flows. It flows so perfectly, right? <laughs> <laughs> everything goes together, right? Yeah, everything goes together. I think it was, it was me. I think it'd be perfect. So whenever you need, you know, us, just hit us. We, we available. Y'all got a highlight or something. I mean, the thing is, you got to have a highlight. 1-800. Ooh, that'll be live. 1-800. 1-800 thick and nasty. Like I said, I'm like, so do you have any more visuals? I know that you have a visual to weigh up that you yeah. just did. Or do you have any more coming out? That was actually the last visual because I went through a lot with that. So they kind of like pushed me back from videographers. But I do have uh, another one coming out throughout the freestyle, Third Days, Three Nights, and we shoot the visual that was soon. And I honestly feel like I might shoot the visual to every track on this week because Ooh. Every, it's like, it go hard, every track, so it's like, I can't pick and choose what fans I'm gonna cater to. Like, I'm gonna cater to them all, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably do a video to every last track of this. It's only five, you know? Yeah. So we're doing, doing a, uh, doing a video, and trying to find, like, the correct treatment for it, and who you gonna have shooting, like, what's the most difficult part about, about doing that part of it? That part alone, like, that, 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 that's my hold up, like, it's a it's it's a lot of videographers out there. Right. And I put a tweet up the other day, I'm like, I'm looking for a videographer, but not somebody who bought a camera last week. Like, I need you to know what you're yeah, doing. Right, you know what I'm saying? Don't let me be your lab brand. Right? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I've been sitting going for a lot of YouTube videos. I've been having to listen to a lot of trash songs. Cause I'm really that. The, <laughs> the quality, yeah. um, the treatment. And it's it's a few people out there, but I I'm, I I guess I just came to the conclusion that I'm gonna probably have to spend a rent because if but I you, don't, I'm gonna get what I spent. You know, but you know what? Your word was wrong. Don't look for a videographer because a videographer just shoots you. You yeah. know what I mean? What you gotta look for is a director. You gotta look for yeah. somebody who has a vision. Like, hey, this is my song, and give me a vision for it. Like, what 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 can your right. treatment look like when you say a videographer? Yeah. Like. I can, I can come shoot it with my iPhone 10 and it's going to look the same, right. <laughs> but, but I can't though, give you no real. direction of, of how I want it to look artistically, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. it's 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 really it's really an art form because everybody can't do it. Right. I, like you. I Believe it or not, a lot of people don't know that that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll pay somebody and they want you to tell them what you want. I'm like, what am I paying you for? Especially depending on what you're asking for. Exactly. You know, do you not know that that's your job to, right. to be like, okay, we're going to do this, this, show up. I'm gonna have your makeup, makeup artist on day, whatever you need, because this is what you're paying me for. Like, right. I don't think really they know that. A lot of people know that, like when somebody said that I'm a producer because you make beats. No, when no. I come in the studio, can you tell me my octave right? Yeah. Tell me my cadence yeah. wrong? Yeah. Can you tell me my pitch levels? Like, yeah. can you really produce a song? Like, right, and that's right, the difference. Right. Like, oh, I make right. a beat. That doesn't make you a producer. It just means you made a beat. Exactly. Exactly. Now you just said that you got to sit there and listen to a bunch of trash rappers when you're trying to find a videographer. What do you think about the state of hip hop now? Oh man, they kind of make me want to like 
take back my statement because every, <laughs> now, now that I think about like everybody have their own style of rap. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What might be trash to me might be like more to somebody with a vocabulary of an ant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it might go hard to them. So they, we gonna end it up arguing. You feel me? I feel like the the new modern rap now is hard for the people who are lyricists to actually hang in there. So now that's why when you ask what type of rapper, I'm I'll put myself in the box. I want to make sure I can hang over whatever music y'all put up. Y'all put up ABC. I'm look. Hey, we gotta get in the studio and make an ABC train real right. quick. Because if you don't, you're gonna be one of them wonders and you're gonna yeah. be all forgot about because the music changes every day, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, 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 but yeah. it's, it's definitely okay to say that they suck. It's, it's totally <laughs> okay. Like, they bad, real. they bad. But no, I, I do feel like now, because of, I guess, it's all the money that can be made in music. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so many people just like, boom, I, I, I wanna make music. Boom, I wanna make music. Like, it's my way out, it's my way out. But if you didn't make a million dollars, would you actually do music? That's a good question. Like, if you didn't make the money, would you still do it? Like, if you, if you couldn't make a million dollars, and this is just something that you wanted to do, right. would you yeah. make music? I, I would. I, I love music. I'm, I'm really, I'm not really making money off of it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. The money I put into it, I have yet to see that back. You know, right. I make Thanks. money, but I ain't made what I put into it yet. So, I, I, I love music. That's why I'm doing it. But I feel like, if you don't have the love for it, you might not want to get into it because you're going to spend way more money before you start yeah. making it. Right. Yeah. That's what everybody does. Yeah, but that's why I, I asked somebody because I asked him. Asked him, asked him, <laughs> asked him a little dude. I was like, bro, like if, if you couldn't, if you didn't know you was gonna make a million dollars into the NFL, would you play football? And what are you told you, bro? No. Why? To be honest, that I would. If, if I was good at football, I probably wouldn't need it because, like, man, I might break my neck or something. You mean to tell me I'm not about to live off this for the rest of my life? I just got a broken neck and now I'm just broken, broke. Sit around. That's the thing, though. That's just the thing about with football is the camaraderie and the, you know love for the game. So if you, if you tell me. Like I, I play football because I love contact. I love. Right. I, I'm aggressive. Like that was a way to keep my right. like my, my my anger down. Mm-hmm. So I would play football. Like I played football for years for free. Like so that's right. you, but Johnny, you don't get exactly. You go all the way through college. You play them in twenty years without getting paid. So I mean, I, but you have some people that just play it because of, of the check. And I was when we were watching that videos. Like if everybody actually did what they love to do, you know what I mean? Without getting like reciprocation. Like I feel like that the world will be different. It'd like be art will be different. Like people yeah. will really hear dope rappers or dope dope singers because yeah. it's not about the money, it's not about the look. It's like, you know what I mean, singers. It is, it's probably better than half the singers they on the top 40. On top. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they ain't gonna get no look because they don't look the part. They don't look the part. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's different. Exactly. Now let's talk about Tales from the Pooh. Where did you start with this project? Like, how did this project come about? Uh, to be honest, I was thinking bigger. I was thinking my, my next album, my next album is going to be the boom. You know what I'm saying? So, what I, what can I do right now to prepare them for that? Which would be my EP, Tales from the Boom, because my album is going to be Tales from Houston. Or, you know, Welcome to the Long Star State. Everything that I went through, just pushing myself as an artist for, for the single way up, I dealt with some fool. And as you listen to the EP, you gonna relate to it because people go through it every day. So I was trying to basically prepare myself for that album to speak about everything I went through. They can call it tell all, snitching, I don't care. I was, it, it, it need to be seen, man. It's a fool. Right. So I was thinking long term of getting everybody ready for this album that's about to come that's gonna give the real about everything. So as a female, do you feel like it's harder for you? It's very hard for me. Uh, I hang in with the best of them because they know that they spooky, they better be spooky, but it's very hard because it's a male dominant industry. Definitely. And it's like, what we look like letting this female that's harder than us get more shine on us? Like, come on, man. Yep. But in, in, you have people that's going to try to get over even more on it because I'm a female, they like, she knew about it. So if you weak, I suggest you just stay, you know, either go put on a skirt and make your makeup, get your booty stuff done, otherwise, it ain't the game for you. I feel, I feel. Do you feel like being in Houston helped your career? On a personal level, yes, because I, I focus more here. So I really just dedicate myself to my craft. Uh, it, it, it has its ups and downs. The benefit of it, I noticed that Houston is very simple. It's the north versus the south. Oh yeah. yeah for sure. me, because I'm not from here, I go where I want. I do what I want. And I think people start to catch on to that. 
Yeah, you, like, oh, you got, oh, you got money, gas money. Yeah, you just got <laughs> That's, that's hard, bro. Like, that yeah. that's, that's why it's segregated, because it takes you 45 minutes to get over there. Oh, I don't know the people down there. I can't drive. But that's just true. Like, I notice a lot of artists from the South Side don't patronize the North Side. A lot of artists from the North Side don't patronize the South Side. So when you have an artist that can patronize both and don't have a pick and choose or a side to rep, I rep all y'all, you know what I'm saying? That's the upside of it, but other than that, I have a tough time because they got artists that been out here grinding for like 20 years but haven't put in the work I put in over the last year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I agree. So when you moved here, what side did you move to? The North Side, actually. Oh, oh sorry. I, I ran, I ran, I, I moved very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> like, where you at now? I'm on the south side. Oh, okay. And north side was too much like home for me. I felt like I probably would have been locked up very soon. Maybe. Not have fit in just well. But when I was on the south side, I got to relax. Like, really just be like, okay, I don't know. You can walk outside, now we're yeah, 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 we're about that. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, when, when, when I walk outside, I can walk outside in khaki shorts and flip flops, and I'll be just fine. Right, right, for real, for real, like, so, yeah, man. You North get real side. out here. North side, south side. And like you said, you gotta have gas money to travel. Yeah. I ain't going up to the north. Man, so, what was Miss Megan? Oh, Miss Megan. We were scared. No, that wasn't Wild Road. No. It was her studio, Don Clay. It was. Yeah, it was. So far. Yeah, yeah. It was scared. It was scary. Scary. So, look. Yeah. I ain't going to it. Was it was a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I ain't been in that vibe in a long time. I said, bro, ain't nobody in the door, pat nobody down. Like, nobody. They look like they can come <laughs> and, so, look, in. and then they all close in to you, and then the smoke in the air. I said, take this ain't our environment, bro. Nah, this ain't here. We got to run. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, baby, maybe, maybe about 10 years ago. I'm just envisioning our down. They probably was looking at the, way at the back with a camera, like, man. <laughs> look, I'm telling you, 10 years ago, I'd be like, yeah, we in here. Yeah. As I done got older, I was like, I'm sensitive situation. So I'm like, I'm like, I gotta get older. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, where is it? All right, so we're gonna play one of the singles from Tales from the Boot. Uh, it's called Savage. Now, tell us a little bit about Savage. Well, going back to like I stated, all the stuff that I dealt with pushing way up, I felt like you know being taken advantage of. I felt small, like I want, like look at, I want to feel big. I want them to know what. You know what kind of this nigga really face but I keep trying to mess over me. So it's like, yeah, y'all hear that la la but anyway, wait, hey, let me show you who I really am behind all this music, you feel me? Yeah. That's what Savage came from. Okay. <laughs> alright, so we're about to get into this savage. It's good. Let's get it. Oh, <laughs> Slap somebody with that song. Wait, what? That made me feel like a savage. I'm gonna slap real somebody. Real tone, real tone. Just walk up it. You just gonna walk up and slap him? Nah, you gonna punch somebody with T-Bone, I'm gonna slap him. <laughs> just straight, that's it. Just make me wanna slap him. Like, okay. Because I know you who you're in, I'm just gonna slap you. So, when it came to that song, it was a lot of energy in that yeah, song. So, yeah. like, with your approach to it, like, because I always ask people, like, when they're recording a the song, like, are you as hyped as recording the song as we are listening to the song? Sometimes, sometimes, and, and not throughout the entire track. Or some parts, you gotta make sure you don't do too much screaming in the mic. Cause I got that bad. Especially, you can tell when I'm real passionate about what I'm saying. I'm screaming in the mic, literally. <laughs> like no bull, for real. One of the tracks on that car, we be about literally screaming the entire song. I want them to know how I feel. <laughs> you want to feel So, like, what part of the song? You uh, you talked about pimping a little bit. I don't know if you took, took how I took it. But you were like, I'm gonna pull up and just get the cash. That's pimping to me. That is pimping. Oh, that's the like, sure. So, so like, is that like the line on where you're trying to go in and rap is gonna work? I ain't gonna lie. Probably. Probably, you know. I mean, because, you know, all you got to do is just catch somebody who got daddy issues. And... No, but I she got, she got a big female follower, though, right? You feel me? They got daddy issues. <laughs> yeah. I'm on live right now. They won't put I'm only going to say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Now, this song was perfect because today is Savage Sunday. Savage Sunday, Sunday. 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 So, Sunday man. Shout out to Savage Sunday. Sunday. We're going to play Savage every Savage Sunday. That'll be our like, oh, yeah. 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 come in song. Yep. We got to play Savage. So, how, know how, do, do you feel like radio is important? Because I feel like in the city of Houston, there's a lot of artists that don't get played on our local station. Yeah. Um, I mean, 
if you have the bread, it's very important because that's that's the easy market of doing a song to someone's head that I don't care how much they say they don't like it, right. they're gonna love it by the time they hear it 15 times that day. That's right. True. So if you have the budget, but I mean, from what I was told in regards to the industry, they have a specific hot for local artists, but of course they use it for specific ones. They're not, I don't care how dope your song is, you're not gonna get in that bracket. Right. You feel me? It, it's sad, but I feel like one of these days, if, if it's not me, it's gonna be my song to my little single. Right? So do you feel like it's more of internet radio streaming or like actual syndicated radio? Cause I can remember last time I turned, I got in my car and turned on actual radio. Yeah. I, it's a lot of internet radio stations. I feel like y'all don't get the credit that's deserved because oh, y'all do cater to the local talent and and all honestly if people would promote a little more, especially people in artists y'all play that don't even acknowledge your lack of phones. I feel like if they do their part, internet radio would take over because the music is better here anyway. Right? Yeah, it is. Sometimes I didn't I didn't set and down, I literally download the app and read this and I was like, man, who is this? Like I wanna go download this song. I love this song versus you hearing the same five artists over and over all day on mainstream. And we'd have broke a few people with that we did a broke a few people. Our, our, our following is pretty, it's nationwide, too. That's the crazy part about it. We can just give a lot more to use the artists that's come to sing. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's, what's popping up next for Peach? I'm gonna I'm I'm really take my time and put my all into this project because I feel like, who knows, this next project I do is, it might be the big one for me. Right, right now, it's just really just reevaluating what I started with and how to do better than my last project, you know, because of course, you're gonna make mistakes along the way, but I feel like I made a lot of mistakes. So let me reevaluate everything I've done in the past and try to do a better this go around with this project. So I'm not about to be, if it's not a cover, I'm not dropping no new original music. We gonna get this EP drug in their head when we're here. That's how you do it. Brian Watts. Yeah. Yes. That way on track hot too. Yeah, the Leia, I was just about to talk about Leia. Um, now that's featuring BK. Yeah. So how was it working with BK? Uh, I mean, the only working with him I got to do was just him dropping the song. Uh, he's, he's pretty cool, you know. Uh, what what you see on Instagram is acting him. He's not pretending. He's really a good dude. <laughs> oh, so he, like he really got like people in the studio looking on eggplants and stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, I so was say that, that like. <laughs> I feel like I'm like more like girls. <laughs> I mean, well, when I, I pulled up to his crib when he uh, did his first for way up, and it was, it was just his little girl, you know, and he, he's a good dad. Uh, that's not a front or whatever. Like he don't subject his daughter to certain things. Uh, he's about his business, you feel me? So a lot of artists don't realize, like, and it's not knocking him because I do appreciate what he did, you feel me? Because he looked out on that verse. But a lot of artists don't realize, don't chase clout. Because if that artist is not willing to put it on his platform, it's still going to it by all of his fans. Exactly. That's true. Very, That's very, very true. Say that, that again for the people in the back. But I, 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 we, was just, we, we, talk, we, we, we talk about this all the time. If 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 Houston embraced Houston, like Atlanta embraced Atlanta, uh, it would be so much bigger. Like, could you imagine if all the artists embraced the radio station here? Like if all the artists embrace each other right. here, you know what I mean? Not necessarily saying, oh, I gotta be on Sway in the morning, or I gotta be on the Breakfast Club before I made it. Like, no, I was on Kiss 22 Radio. Right. Like, bro, I've, 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 I've arrived. Yep. You know what I mean? I'm posting it because I've arrived. Hey, this right, is who right, me right. up. Like, or, or I had Gucci on, the, on, the, on, the, on, on my radio show. Like, I've right. arrived. I don't have to wait till like, get like a, a two chains or, or a rich homie corn. Like, I had him on my radio show, bro. Like, exactly. it was dope. Right. I mean, yeah. I honestly feel like with, as long as I've been out here, they can say kumbaya, it ain't gonna happen. Like, yeah. because I feel like even they once said the big dogs out here don't want to step aside and let the new people come. But like, they don't have respect, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of them, they, they feel like, man, we do step aside, you go, nobody want to hear that no more. Instead of, hey, bro, I'm a big fan of what you got going on. You know what? You had that hit back then. How about we remix it with my new style versus your style? Oh, yeah. And I'm about to bring you back and you about to make me even more relevant. Let's come on I, like that. I, I, to, to the same point, that, that's that's true. That's definitely true. We was talking about that, but in the same instance, like, Oh, do we just embrace it, saying, "Hey, like, come on, yeah. like, we just, we just had, the photo, we, we just had old school, it. like, hey, bro, like, we will, we will, we will, we will show, you know what I mean, like, even, can we just get a picture? No, nah, I'll take pictures. Yeah, that's real life. It, real life. Some of them, they really all like, 
and I think it kind of go up with overlooking certain people. I, I guarantee it's some of them out there that are willing to do it, but we overlooking them because we feel like they're not as big as the person who just oh, yeah, that's 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 to your face and told them to take pictures. This is true. So that's true. true. That's but that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't feel like I'm. Y'all already are perfect. Catch yeah. 22. Yeah, it's, it's, it's already <laughs> We, I, I don't feel like we cloud chasing. I feel like there's some people here that, that are staples that people don't even know that are staples in Houston. And them are the people that you want to talk to. Them are the movers and the shakers that you really want to get in contact with. But I, but if you got 300 people on Instagram or you got 3,000 or 300,000, to me, it's about the art. If you dope, you dope. Right. And it's going to get noticed. So I don't I don't have to have you be verified on Instagram to have your people talk to you. It's Catch 22 Radio every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. on GMTRadio.com.